everyone, I'm Lauren Spear from HorrorFam.com, and every January, May, and September, I do a roundup of the indie horror projects that have been sent to my inbox. And this is the Fall 2024 roundup. But it's also my first time doing this on video, so I feel like I could use a little help. Let me see if I can call our mascot, Xander. Xander? You there, buddy? Can you help me out? <laughs> Hold on, I I don't think the audience can understand you. Can you mutate into a larger form, please? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Let me just switch to your monitor. Um There, you ready? Yes. So the first thing on the list is Wait, wait. Now that's too small. How are we supposed to showcase these indie horror creations properly if they're that tiny? <laughs> <sighs> so make it big then. Huh? That's a good idea, I'll do that. Thank you. Here we go. What haunts you? Heather Landry, aka Sandpaper Daisy, wants your strange dreams and stories from the Ohio River Valley for her micro folklore horror comic series, The River People. Heather gathers creepy nightmares, dreams, rumors, and legends from the people living in the Ohio River Valley area, and then she illustrates them. And, if she draws your story, you get a free copy of the printed comic. Share your story with Heather, or check out the other cool comics she's created on this topic thus far at river-people.com. Next, we have the debut novel from Washington-based writer Drew Huff. It's called Free Burn, and is the story of Triple Six, an institutionalized, love-struck outcast. As he fights to save the only girlfriend he's ever had from the reanimated clutches of her dead mother, the infamous pyromaniac serial killer he accidentally freed from hell. Drew Huff herself described Freeburn to me as similar to Danger Slater's bizarro quirky horror. And if you love Freeburn, you'll be happy to know that Drew Huff's publisher will be releasing her second horror novel, The Divine Flesh, in spring of 2025. A.G. Spencer, author of the young adult horror novel Electric Eyes, is going to be a featured author at the Bullet County Authors Fair in Shepherdsville, Kentucky on Saturday, November 16th. You'll be able to meet A.J. and grab an autographed copy of his book. Kangas Khan Publishing has a new horror anthology releasing on September 17th, 2024. Compiled and edited by Kenneth W. Kane, Fear of Clowns explores one of modern humanity's most common phobias through 29 chilling tales. Fans of Brian Hill's Parada Occult Mysteries featuring hardened P.I. Rev. Parada will be happy to know that the first three novels are now available as a bundle. And Brian Hill is currently hard at work on the fourth book in this cosmic horror noir detective series set in the 1980s. Apologies if my mandibles mispronounced any of those words. Valentine Wolf are making some really cool horror music. If you're a fan of music in the same vein as Evanescence, Nightwish, and Paradise Lost, mixed with a bit of Broadway's Phantom of the Opera and a little bit of classical, you'll love them. Valentine Wolf is currently offering their 2017 album, Elijah Repose, for free. But if you already own it, then you'll be happy to hear this. Sarah Black told me that their new album will be titled Lost to the Night, and it should be out close to Halloween. Ireland's darkest audio entertainment show, Petrified, is a multiple award-winning horror fiction anthology podcast featuring terrifying tales of regular people having highly irregular encounters. If you're into supernatural suspense, paranormal scares, and just a dab of humor, then you're going to love their show. Better yet, their 2023 live show, The Rictus Grin, has just become available on YouTube for the first time. Sakura has released the music video for their single After Dark, a song that, in their words, delves into the dark side of human nature. Matthew Sakura shared how elements of the song were inspired by the Alien franchise, 
as well as Hellraiser, The Grudge, and Psycho. You can check out the official video for After Dark, as well as a short showcasing its horror influences side by side with their music on Sakura's YouTube channel. Professional villains, the creators of Anglerfish, are happy to announce that the newest game in their Dark Experiment series, Security The Horrible Nights, now has a playable demo available on Steam. Unraveling is a body horror short film that made its premiere at London's Fright Fest and is currently on its indie film festival tour. They are going to be making appearances throughout England with stops at Aesthetica Short Film Festival and the Sunderland Shorts Film Festival. Then, Unraveling will be making its premiere in the United States. It will be shown at Screamfest at the TCL Chinese Six Theatres in Hollywood, California. October 8th to the 17th, 2024. Actor and indie filmmaker Kyle Hester has been on an interesting journey this year. He's creating 50 short films in 50 weeks in order to finish funding his feature-length horror action adventure Preacher 6. His most recent release is Haunted Lake Lanier, which investigates the tragic events and lingering paranormal activity at the Georgia Lake. He also plans to have another film in his Haunted series, Haunted New Orleans, available to watch by the end of this month. Water Rights by Collective Imagination is currently raising funds via Kickstarter. Their fundraiser ends September 30th, so check out their Kickstarter page now if you're interested in this. Writer-director Dean Jacobs said, Water Rights is in the vein of classic folk horror films. Think Wicker Man meets Midsummer with just a touch of Get Out. What's Wrong Wendy, written and directed by Spencer Spooky Madison of Final Ghoul Films, is currently raising funds on Indiegogo. If you'd like to contribute to the production and get some perks, their campaign will be open for donations until October 30th, 2024. According to executive producer Athena Mirza, founder of Street Rat Studios, What's Wrong Wendy is a dash of Jennifer's body, a sprinkle of ginger snaps, and a dollop of high tension, all rolled into the packaging of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Baleful is a Canadian horror film from Deformed Lunchbox. Known for their short films, Baleful is the first feature-length movie to come from the indie horror films company. Peter Hatch, the founder of Deformed Lunchbox, describes Baleful as about a group of people who pass a demonic curse amongst themselves, causing them to do awful and violent things. Baleful is set to release in late 2024, but until then, you can check out the trailer on YouTube. Speaking of Canada, the Atlantic International Film Festival, AIFF, has got plenty of horror films scheduled this year. If you're going to be in downtown Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada on September 11th through the 18th, you should check out the AIFF at Cineplex Cinemas Park Lane. Terror Twins LLC wrote in with another update that they're making fantastic progress with Traction Park Massacre. And they've even released some photos of the cast. Plotwise, Traction Park Massacre revolves around a local water park burning to the ground, supposedly killing twin 10 year olds Otto and Emil von Metzger, giving rise to urban legends. But 15 years later, it becomes apparent that the Terror Twins are alive and they hunt down anyone who dares to enter the torched remains of the abandoned park. Terror Twins LLC will have a panel at New York Comic Con at the Javette Center on October 17th at 6.30pm, room 408. The Seductress from Hell is director Andrew DeBurr's second feature film, and it stars Jason Font, aka the Red Power Ranger. According to Andrew DeBurr, the Seductress from Hell is heavily inspired by horror classics like Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Hellraiser. It tells the story of a struggling Hollywood actress who undergoes a horrific transformation after being pushed to the edge by her psychopathic husband. The Seductress from Hell is completed and set to release in theaters on May 23rd, 2025. However, if you're near Glendale, California, you can catch it on September 28th, 2024 at 8 p.m. in Auditorium 3 at the Glendale International Film Festival at the Lamely. This one came via Elena Zala of Jive PR and Digital, who said Waypoint Entertainment, a full-service production company that provides creative and financial services to their projects, has announced the new genre label Quicha Features. Helmed by industry veterans, the label offers a collaborative sanctuary for filmmakers to create 
horrifying Artur content supported by the expertise of its season's team. If you'd like to know more about how Quicha offers a safe place for filmmakers to create twisted genre-melding nightmares, then check out their website at Quicha.com. Congratulations to Slasher Social Media user Tracy, aka Nick's Blackfire, for winning the 2024 Slasher T-Shirt Design Contest. Their prize-winning design, Rabbit, is now available on T-Shirts in the Slasher Store in sizes XS to XL. It's a limited edition offering and it won't be around forever. And although this information was sent via Slasher, we wanted to mention that the award-winning artist also has their own merch on TeePublic as Hexcraft Studio. Well, that's it for the Fall 2024 Roundup. What do you think, Xander? Me too. And remember, you can read more in-depth about each indie horror project that was mentioned here by going to horrorfam.com. The link is in the description below. And although I accept content submissions year-round, I do these special roundups on the first Friday of January, May, and September. So if you want to be featured in the next one on January 3rd, write to me on or before December 20th at lauren at horrorfam.com. And everything presented in this roundup was sent to my inbox from people who wanted to be featured on horrorfam.com, and no one was charged to be featured, as we know from experience <laughs> that small creators often struggle with finances, and we Never want money to get in the way of dreams coming true, especially in the horror genre. That said, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video or any of our articles or interviews, um, please share it with your friends and family. Spread the word about HorrorFam.com, and if you're financially able, consider becoming a patron at Patreon.com slash HorrorFam. Um, your support help fuel our creativity, our content, and helps us help others in the horror community with videos like these. We love you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any updates from HorrorFam.com. So it's me again. <laughs> Um, this video got delayed and didn't come out on September 6th with the original written posts, and since then, I got three more emails about fall indie horror projects, and they totally missed the deadline, but I'm a softie and I didn't want them to have to wait until January's roundup, and since this is coming out late anyway, I... But I include them, so here are three more. <laughs> Voice of Shadows is the debut feature by writer-director Nicholas Bain. Gabrielle and Emma, a young couple from the city, check out the rural home Emma has inherited from her great-aunt Milda. Turns out, it's haunted. Now Emma and Gabrielle have to fight for their survival as the spirits try to turn them against each other. This is made all the more complicated as Gabriel's dark past catches up with him. Voice of Shadows is now streaming in the United States and the United Kingdom on Amazon Prime and several other streaming services. Dead Posey, a Los Angeles goth punk band who draws musical inspiration from Nine Inch Nails, Garbage, and Depeche Mode, is dropping a brand new album on October 18th. It's called Are You in a Cult? and will feature their singles Welcome to the Nightmare, She Went Bad, and Zombies. Stomach It, a psychological body horror film, makes its world premiere at the 55th Nashville Film Festival on Friday, September 20th, 2024, followed by the Chicago Horror Film Festival from September 27th to the 29th, and then it'll be at the Los Angeles Scream Fest from October 8th to the 17th, 2024. All screenings will be followed by a Q&A with the cast and crew. Okay, that's it for real this time. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. HorrorFam.com updates with new written articles every Friday. And I'll see you next time. Bye!